Hello everyone, today we'll be making a ROS server from scratch. It's absolutely free and it's a server for you and your friends to play on. You could for example do cinematics for uh, scripted videos and get lots of views on YouTube for that. Or just do cinematics for real YouTube videos. I, I don't actually don't really care, but by doing when you need to make a server, you can do whatever disk you want like the faster the disk the better the server is gonna be obviously I'm just gonna make it in disk E so I'm just gonna call this a a monkey server and in the monkey server I'm gonna add two folders one folder you're gonna come steam CMD the other one is just gonna be called the rust server so what do you need to download? You go in the description and then you download the steam cmd.zip and then you double click on that. You move the steam cmd steam cmd a.exe into the steam cmd folder that you just made under the monkey server. Then you want to run it just run as administrator just in case some some stuff. And it should be creating a bunch of uh, folders here <clears throat> and uh, it's okay so we want to get the directory for your server that is by going to the monkey server and then on the rust server you want to copy the path and under this console we want to type in underscore install directory this one then we want to do login anonymous and it's waiting for input so we just do app underscore update and that is the app number for us we're gonna type in that's that and then now it's gonna download a bunch of files under this one as you can see it's downloading steam apps and now we just have to wait we can customize it by giving it more bigger text or whatever Curia new and yeah like it's bigger now so it's a bit easier to read you can do layout colors you can do like screen text do it like that and you get like hacking hacking dot something like the matrix you know what i mean and you can give it less opacity so you can see in the background i usually put it at like 90 so it looks pretty cool Now we wait. Soon it should be actually done. It's taking not that long because it's a fast SSD I'm installing it on just for you. But it might take longer depending on your internet speed and your CPU and what disk you're downloading it on. But for me it's kinda fast. I guess. I tried to download on my hard drive and it took like five times longer than this. And now it is downloaded all the specific files, and we just, you can, uh, ah, it's fully installed, so, now you just press up here, or you just type in quit, and now we have this. So, what you want to do is make a new, whatever, you, you can do whatever you want, a, a bit you can make like a word document, call it start dot bat. Start up, but we want to edit this and I'm going to put in what is from my server. 
and we're gonna change it so we can run on this one. Oh, I might already have it open. But let's edit this. And then copy all of this and paste it in here. Now, there's some things we need to change before this thing is gonna run. That is, we need to copy the folder. This is the Rust server folder. We wanna copy the Rust server folder under the servers here. Like that. Then we wanna find Steam CMD. And then we copy this part. Only this part, do not copy the Steam CMD. And then you paste it in here. And then should be pretty much it. Except you sh yeah, I'm just gonna put this in the description, but I might as well just explain. This is the host name. That is what's gonna appear when people look at the server from like, if they type the name, if they type HIP server, that is what's gonna come up. But let's change that to the monkey server. Absolute blast. And then server description, like and subscribe. And the server URL can be whatever page you want, whatever URL you want. And server head image, that is the picture of the server when you like try to join it. And by the one way to getting it is just to go and like funny, 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 funny cat pictures. And then we just take one. But yeah, we just take a cat picture. No, we should, we should take funny monkey pictures. Yeah, that fits more. That fits a lot better. So we want to copy the image address and check if it's not too long. There we go. It's a JPEG, so it's perfect. Server header image. We just want to replace it. Between these colons, you just want to paste in your desired. What is it doing? Server header image. I'm gonna paste this in. And now it's gonna be the monkey. So server identity just say that. Whatever. I don't, I don't know if the, what this does. The, the archon. It's a dog. You can do whatever. That should be it. I'm gonna leave this in the description. And then we should just be able to start the server with this with this one that we just made. And it is coming, spinning to life. And I have, I just have this customized by a little bit. So, see, it actually transferred the settings all from the. Oh, you need to customize this as well. And just, yeah, private network, that's what we're going through. And yeah, we might as well do the thing right now, where I'm gonna show you, you're gonna pull up your PowerShell or CMD and type in IP config. Now that you've done that, the default gateway is right here, and we wanna take the web browser and post it, paste it in here. Now you have access to your router, and then you wanna log in. Usually the password is just admin admin, 
but on mine it wasn't and you can find the password on the back of your router or you have to contact your uh, internet provider. Then you want to find, it's different for everyone so I don't know if this can help you, but you have to go to port forwarding and you want to add a rule, just whatever, you can name it whatever. And then service is just other service. Internal host is going to be your machine that you're playing on right now. And that is the IPv4 address, which is this one. And you just want to paste it in here. External port is this one to this one. Just the same thing in here. And then this one is like that. And then game. I have it right here already. And remember to do one of these in here. That just means everyone external host that means that everyone can join and there we go we have the service rust tpc udp everyone can join on your computer which is where the host the server is hosted from the internal port which is right here this is the server port 28015 and it goes up to 28017 so you just apply it and there we go everyone should be able to see your server but first time starting the server usually takes a little long time but once it started it should come up as monkey server should soon be done and there we go the monkey server should be online oh the monkey server yes the monkey server the, the monkey server oh, let's go guys it's so cool to see the monkey server and when we click on the web page it brought, brings uh, me to the youtube channel wow that's so cool hello ah whatever the monkey server is all that matters guys we have the monkey server, it's online, and everything is working. That is actually so pog. Did I do everything right? I think I, yeah. Owner. 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 ID. And you want to give yourself admin, of course. So, by giving yourself admin, you need to go and edit your profile on Steam, or go up here. Just copy these numbers down here and paste this into the console and now you have given yourself owner and you can just do the same with your friends you ask for their steam id 24 or you go on a website that tells their id 24 for you 40 44 now 64 id and then if you want to remove just do remove owner and then yeah you can remove a guy and it's steam 24 64 i mean yeah yeah and then to save the changes right.cfg config saved 
So next time you don't have to type in owner ID to go to the owner, it will be set automatically. And that is pretty much how you do it. Now you can film cool cinematics and scripted videos on your monkey server. So now I might have forgot to add how you can actually connect because it can be kind of sometimes it doesn't show for your friends and you just have to go on your server they get your friend list but if you don't want to do that you want to go on your steam view servers and your server should be under here once it's up and it says the ip address so you do this ip address and then client.connect and then this ip address if you are interested in getting more like plugins and stuff i can do a video on that as well but there should be some interest on this video before i do that so thank you for watching